The compression sleeve fitting is very fast. The first step to installing any PEX fitting is to have a clean square cut in the end of the pipe. Don't use a hacksaw, don't use a pocket knife, use a proper plastic pipe cutter like I'm going to do here. So taking a piece of pipe, I'm just going to use this cutter and get a nice clean square cut on the end. This will ensure a good fitting. When doing the cold expansion fitting, the first step is to take the compression sleeve, there's a tapered end to this sleeve and a square end. The tapered end needs to be pointing towards the end of the pipe. The tapered end will be pulled up and over the fitting. So we'll take it and slide it onto the pipe, square end first with the tapered end pointed towards the end of the pipe. Then we'll use the hand tool to expand the pipe and make it larger. Using this hand tool, we put it inside the pipe and with a few pumps, we expand it and make it bigger. Now, we hold it open for a few seconds, but you'll see that because of these segments, the pipe is not perfectly round inside. This means that we're going to have to retract the tool and expand a second time, which I'll do. Retract the tool and rotate it just a few degrees to do the second expansion to make sure the pipe is round inside. Once the pipe is expanded, the fitting easily inserts into the pipe. Now the pipe will shrink back. It has a memory and it wants to go back to its original dimension. This means that from the time you put the fitting inside, within a couple of seconds, the pipe starts shrinking back over the fitting right away. Pull the sleeve manually up close to the fitting and then use the same tool to hook in behind the collar of the fitting and behind the back of the sleeve and pull the sleeve up and over the pipe. You'll see as we do this, the pipe gets pulled up and over the very last barbed rib and makes for a very tight connection. Just one set of action is all that's required to complete this fitting and as soon as it's done, you can tell visually that the fitting is complete. No other testing or calibration is required. First step will be a clean square cut. Then we take the compression sleeve, slide it over the end of the pipe with the beveled end or the tapered end towards the end of the pipe. Put the tool inside, a few pumps to expand the pipe. Release the tool, rotate it just a few degrees with a second expansion to make it round inside. Then the fitting goes in. Use the same tool, go back into the fitting, pull it together. This process takes only a few seconds.